Hello friends, welcome to our show. Lot of men are facing the problem of varicocele in the scrotum. Let me introduce Dr. Pradeep Mule, senior consultant interventional radiologist practicing in New Delhi, India. Welcome to the show, Dr. Mule. After diagnosis, if one is diagnosed with the varicocele, so what are the treatment options for that? Uh, till now, the most of the male for a varicocele, they go for a open surgery. Mm -hmm. Surgery can be done by the laparoscopically also, open surgery also. Mm -hmm. But other option is there. Mm -hmm. That is a non-surgical option which is called as the varicocele embolization. Mm -hmm. And what are the advantages of varicocele embolization over uh, varicocele surgery? Uh, when you talk about the varicocele surgery, in surgery you need the, some a cut into a, a, along with the scrotum or in your lower abdomen. Mm -hmm. But in embolization, you not require a, any kind of the cut or something. If the time is just the a small nick is required to enter inside, mm -hmm. and through the very small tube which is called as a catheter, you take inside the testicular vein and you can block from the inside. Okay. Now, normally the what the surgeon they doing that they blocking and after cutting the your skin and making the small scar and they go and like it the way. Yes. But in this one is not required. Okay, and that is very risky too. Uh, that is very risky okay. because of the, that need the general anesthesia or a, any other type of the anesthesia. Mm -hmm. But in varicocele embolization not required any kind of the anesthesia. Okay. Can all uh, varicoceles be repaired? Uh, see the twenty percent of the male they not required the treatment because they don't have any problem. Okay. And uh, the concept for varicocele treatment, if a person don't have any problem, so better not to treat them. If a person having the problem, then definitely you should go and treat them by surgically or a non-surgical treatment. But non-surgical treatment definitely is a much better than the surgical outcome. Will varicocele embolization improve the semen quality? Yes. Even after the surgery, the less chances are there as compared to non-surgical treatment. Mm -hmm. By non-surgical treatment, the sperm quality chances to improve the sperm quality and the sperm distance, right? Mm -hmm. That is around like 40 to 50 percent. How long one have to be in the hospital? Uh, embolization not required the day uh, hospitalization also. Mm -hmm. It's required just the few hour hospitalization only. Mm -hmm. And what are the restrictions after the procedure? After surgery, yes, definitely. Mm. You have to take a rest and other things for a one week or two weeks. But after embolization, you not required a, any rest. Mm. Even the next day, you can resume the, your all normal activity, even the office work. Also. How many days one uh, needs to recover after this? Two days. Two days only. Yeah, that's more than two days. Mm. That, that's why normally we mm. say that the varicocele embolization is the weekend procedure. Mm. You get in the Saturday and go and join the Monday. Will this uh, procedure affect the sexual functioning? No, not at all. Okay. Is there any chance that a varicocele will reoccur after this varicocele repair? Uh, in non-surgical treatment, in varicocele embolization, 1% chances are there for a recurrence. Mm -hmm. But in surgery, around 10 to 15% chances are there for a recurrence of the varicocele. Okay, if a patient has already undergone the varicocele surgery, so after that he has reoccurred varicocele, so will the uh, varicocele embolization help in that? If one had varicocele surgery but varicocele has uh, came back, so can varicocele embolization help in this case? Yes. So even after the recurrence, mm -hmm. after the surgery, mm -hmm. the varicocele embolization can be done easily. It is not a problem. Okay, and what does the varicocele embolization cost? Cost when you compare with the surgery, definitely the less than the surgical cost because this not need the general anesthesia, so cost is the little less, and need the just the like the half day hospitalization, the cost is the less than. And uh, will the insurance company pay for the varicocele embolization? Most of the insurance they covered. Okay. Particularly if the patient having the pain and discomfort and dragging sensation, mm -hmm. but if a person having the infertility. Infertility treatment, most of the insurance people they don't cover. Don't cover. Don't cover. Okay. Yes. During the varicocele surgery, there is an incision made near the scrotum. Uh, is there any such incision made uh, during the varicocele uh, embolization? Oh, in varicocele embolization, if the no scar comes, mm -hmm. the entry point is exactly the way you the blood sample. Only that much, only the things is there. But in surgical scar comes in the open surgery or in laparoscopic surgery. But in embolization, no scar come at all. Okay, so uh, Dr. Mule, I must say you have done a remarkable work by providing non-surgical treatments for such big problems. And uh, thank you for imparting knowledge uh, over varicocele to our uh, viewers. Thank you very much. Thank you.